The Margarita portfolio was created by investing writer Scott Burns. Here we'll take a look at its components, historical performance, and the best ETFs to use in its implementation. Scott Burns, the creator of the Margarita portfolio, is a finance columnist and co-founder of AssetBuilder.com. He also created the famous Couch Potato portfolio. Scott Burns proposed the Margarita portfolio in 2004. The Margarita portfolio definitely qualifies as a lazy portfolio. It's comprised of only three assets at equal weights. One-third total U.S. stock market, one-third total international stock market, and one-third inflation-protected treasury bonds or TIPS. Burns named it the Margarita Portfolio because he maintains that the traditional margarita is the best, the recipe for which he states as one part tequila, one part triple sec, and one part fresh lime juice. Going back to 1997 when TIPS data begins, here's a performance backtest of the Margarita Portfolio versus the S&P 500 through November 2020. The Margarita portfolio delivered a lower return than the S&P 500 index over this time period, but with lower volatility and risk, and thus a nearly identical risk-adjusted return to the S&P 500 as measured by Sharp and Sortino. I like tips, but it seems strange and suboptimal to use them as the sole fixed income asset here. I'd prefer nominal intermediate-term treasury bonds. Were I to implement the Margarita portfolio allocations, I would use intermediate or long treasuries or split the bonds evenly between nominal and real bonds. I do at least like that the Margarita portfolio gives a heavy allocation to international stocks. That allowed the Margarita portfolio to significantly outperform the S&P 500 in the early 2000s. Utilizing two low-cost funds from Vanguard and one from iShares, we can construct the Margarita portfolio like this. VTI at 34%, VXUS at 33%, and SCHP at 33%. I'll include a link in the description to invest in this portfolio if you're interested. As I noted, I'd be more likely to use nominal bonds. That basically becomes a variation of the famous Bogleheads 3 Fund portfolio. Check out my video on it here. What do you think of the Margarita portfolio? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.